Hey everyone, so before I get into this video, I just wanted to say that only a small percentage of those who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up enjoying my content, consider subscribing to my channel as that would mean the world to me. Enjoy! Hey, what's going on guys? So today I wanted to give you guys an update on Ryjinx's progress on their Vulcan implementation. So the last video I made on this topic was around 8 months ago when the Vulcan PR was initially released. Since then, they've made a lot of progress such as adding multi-sampling support, alpha test support, custom image format to bind, and most recently integrating the Spear V backend. So essentially what this means is that shader compilation times will be reduced significantly, resulting in smoother gameplay. And later in this video, I'll be comparing Vulkan Spear V with OpenGL using the GLSL backend, so you can see how big of a difference there is in the shader compilation speed. However, I do need to mention that the pipeline cache, effectively a on-disk shader cache for Vulkan, is not implemented yet. I note that this PR is still a work in progress, so if you're considering to use Vulkan, you should keep that in mind. Um, but now I'll be showing you the difference between Spear V and OpenGL GLSL. 